My name's Dan Burdett. We run Cockhays Farm. It's an organic dairy farm in West Sussex. We milk around 240 cows on an autumn calving block system. Each autumn we'll be serving around 220 to 230 cows and between 60 and 80 bullying heifers depending on the year. We serve for 12 weeks. The first three weeks, or probably a little bit less, are to dairy bulls. Um, after that we serve um, to uh, beef bulls. Um, the heifers are served for three weeks and then a sweeper, a Sussex sweeper bull, generally a Sussex, is used. So we were in the fortunate position at the start that we wanted to move our block um, back three weeks to enable us to get a break at some holidays. So over a course of three years we brought it back a week each year. That enabled us to bring more cows back into the system so they were um, ready to serve on day one rather than after three weeks of service. So that's, that kick-started our, our system going well. We now run a dry cow system which is pretty much the same every year. So we put them onto standing hay for about nine or ten weeks and um, that's um, ground that's shut up since um, June time um, then they come in and they're on standing hay during calving plus supplementary hay plus dry cow rolls um, for the last couple of weeks before calving then they are brought into the herd after 24 hours um, and onto silage at night and uh, grazing by day uh, up until uh, three weeks before housing so we make sure that their body condition is right so we're looking at body condition score of about three by the time we get to serving we make sure that the vet has been to see them so any cows that have had difficult calvings retain cleansings will be seen by the vets uh, during the calving period a few days before we start serving um, anything that's not been seen bullying will be pulled up and the vet will see it um, and then after three weeks of serving again anything that hasn't been served will be um, put in front of the vet just to make sure that um, there's no issues so we've had issues with milk fever in the past. Historically, we've fed home mix with dry cow minerals mixed in with it. We found that the cows were sorting the mineral out, i.e. they weren't taking the mineral in. If we have a wet calving, they weren't drinking enough water, which had mag flakes in the trough. So we turned to using dry cow rolls about five or six years ago, and albeit they are more expensive, we've found that we've brought milk fever cases down to less than one or two percent of calvings, which has made a huge difference. So the expense is worth it because of the costs of cows with milk fever is greater. We've than the cost of the dry cow rolls. Heat detection is a very important part of this. We tail painted all the cows, not really looking for the rubbing, but just to give us an indication so we can see clearly who has or hasn't been served. We do four times 30 minute checks each day. So that'll be before milking in the morning, it'll be a quick check. Then after um, milking in the morning will be a longer check. Then lunchtime, after finishing milking in the afternoon, and then a 10 o'clock check at night. And that is to find the cows which are on standing heat. Um, we serve morning and afternoon, predominantly because it's better for the timing of the egg release. Uh, 12 hours after standing is started is generally when we should be inseminating the cows. We make sure that they're on standing heat only so that um, we are not getting uneven repeat rates. So standing in the morning before 12 o'clock will be served in the afternoon. Anything seen standing before 10 o'clock at night will then be served the following morning. If we're serving cows too early um, when it's on a hunch rather than at standing heat. And we need to spread the workload out through the day so we're not serving all the cows at once.